All right, thank you, Vaughn. The Veterans of Foreign Wars, our nation's largest and oldest war veteran service organization, is recognizing one vet from Columbia in their still serving campaign. Dan Hoffman is still serving our Midlands community well after his military career by donating therapy dogs to veterans to help with their PTSD. He's joining us now live in the studio with his very own therapy dog, Pistol. Thank you so much for being here today. It's an honor and pleasure to be here. Thank you so very much. I'm uh, so glad that you were able to come and to bring Pistol with you. Talk a little bit about what Pistol has done for you personally. Well, I was a combat veteran in uh, the Vietnam War, the tail end of it, and uh, I had PTSD really bad in the 2005-2006. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually, had to be hospitalized, uh, but with the uh, severe, uh, significant mm -hmm. therapy and uh, doctors at the VA and uh, working with fellow veterans, mm -hmm. Uh, I was able to uh, turn my uh, PTSD around to the point now where I'm actually a national advocate for helping people get VA benefits and uh, PTSD uh, therapy. Wow, it certainly has impacted your life so much. Talk about what it means to you to now be able to give that gift to other people who've had similar experiences. Well, I've been very active with uh, the Marine Corps League here in Columbia and the state of South Carolina and uh, been a life member of the VFW uh, for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. So I've been uh, actively involved in a lot of veterans organizations. Mm -hmm. I first got uh, Pistol here. Uh, actually, his, uh, his father was my first PTSD therapy dog. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he is an AKC Grand Champion uh, at the silver level. I actually showed him in Westminster uh, in New York City. Wow. Uh, and uh, he is the sire of uh, all the puppies w w we have now. I know you mentioned you are a former Marine and served in Vietnam. Talk about what that experience was like for you as an American. Well, I was a, a young second lieutenant at the tail end of the Vietnam War. Uh, I was involved in the Mayaguez recovery in May of 1975. It's called the last battle of the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. uh, the last 41 names on the wall of Vietnam Veterans Memorial, all from that from that operation. So it was very significant. and. Uh, it had a, a, a definite impact on me, as I say, uh, I, had, I had PTSD uh, when we didn't even know what it was or what it was called in the beginning. And uh, with a lot of help and uh, uh, support, right. I was, I've been able to, like I say, turn the life around. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure you, you maybe could have never imagined that you would be in a position of such advocacy. Talk about what it means to think back to those times and realize that you really have come so far. Uh, it, it's been amazing. I've uh, uh, gone through a lot, uh, but uh, the, the Papillon is a very smart, special dog, and I'm, I'm so lucky to have been uh, given one, and then uh, I've been breeding and showing them yes. uh, with the AKC since uh, uh, 2008. He actually wow. is, uh, as I said, a grand champion, uh, but the, the PTSD certification uh, there's a difference between a PTSD therapy dog and a service dog, mm -hmm. and he is both of them. Uh, but yes. uh, and I know you mentioned that this breed in particular is really great at be at becoming a therapy dog. Why is that? They're just so very very smart and so easily trained. I mean, uh, they're not going to be a seeing eye dog. They're not going to be a dog that someone needs to have to hold to uh, support them up. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I had PTSD at my worst, uh, they were a godsend to me. Uh, uh, I'd be laying in bed crying, and uh, uh, they come up and bring a ball and say play with me or lick me or jump up and down and take me out. Uh, when I uh, was having bad dreams or nightmares, they'd lay on top of me and wake me up, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, wow, such a wonderful thing that this dog was able to provide that for you. You know, if anyone may be watching who is a veteran that's dealing with PTSD and they're wondering, you know, how could I get a service dog to help me? What would you want them to know? I actually have a puppy here that we okay. plan on donating to an eligible veteran. You need me to help you. Let me help you here. If you did hear any crying throughout, it was because we have another puppy here with us. This <laughs> he is, is so precious. This is Jolly. He is Pistol's uh, son. He is six weeks old. Pistol's okay. six years old. And we've donated oh. in the last several years uh, uh, quite a few dogs to veterans uh, okay. from Ohio to Illinois to uh, uh, Florida. and. Uh, don't cry. Oh, it's okay, Jolly. Jolly's a, Jolly's a little lonely, but he will be less lonely if he would love to be with someone who would really benefit with him. The, uh, uh, my website is kotangpapions.com, okay. and there's contact information there. Uh, 
and you can get a hold of me if you are a veteran and know uh, or know someone that is, uh, is interested in a PTSD therapy dog or a service dog. Right. Uh, obviously, this is uh, not trained or certified, but mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing that for several years and it's been, been very, very rewarding. Well, what a wonderful service that you're able to offer and you continue to serve your community through this even past your service to our country. So we very much appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much for bringing these dogs on to just to show our community how they can really benefit our veterans. Well, thank you so much for being here and we're going to have more midday and weather coming up after this break.